Hello everyone, I'm Dr. Shalini Gupta and I am going to show you a sclerotherapy session today. So this is one of my very lovely young ladies um, and she is just a wonderful, wonderful person and she has been dealing with these leg veins. We've done some other um, procedures for facial rejuvenation and so on, but she just hates going to the pool and then having people notice her legs or just not being able to wear shorts and capris during the summer. So she wants to get rid of these uh, leg veins and leg veins are um, quite commonly seen in a lot of women and even men. Uh, men seem to camouflage it more um, and it seems to be more of an issue in our ladies, but uh, we do do a lot of sclerotherapy with men as well. And so these develop usually as a result of heredity um, where you might have weaker valves to begin with and other things that can make it worse would be pregnancy, weight gain, and trauma. So um, even crossing your legs a lot can potentially cause those veins to become more fragile and for the valves to then not function very well. So veins are thin walled uh, compared to arteries which have thicker walls and actually are pumping blood. Veins um, more passively um, you know, move the blood from back to the heart. And so veins have valves that uh, are relied upon to keep the blood pumping in an upward direction. And the, when those valves fail, then you get pooling of, of the blood and then you get a, um, you can develop new veins that kind of break and form as a result of that pressure. So, um, you know, we can treat veins in multiple ways. We can also laser them. We have a lot of different technologies, over 20 different types of lasers. And so we can effectively um, treat vessels, vascular lesions with lasers. But when it comes to leg veins, I find that sclerotherapy um, is still the best way to treat the veins. The sclerotherapy solution travels through the length of the vein um, and gives a more long-lasting improvement. Um, you can see how the veins just disappear with the injections. It's actually really fun to watch. It's a more gratifying procedure. I'm using hypertonic saline in this case, uh, which is highly concentrated salt water, and basically irritates the vein wall and causes that vein wall to collapse and for that vein to shut down. Your body, in turn, actually becomes healthier. That blood gets redirected through veins that are functioning, functioning more normally. The veins that we're treating are really not functioning very well at all. Um, we can also use foam sclerotherapy where we use a product called Sotradecol or polydocanol, which we turn into a foamy solution and inject into the veins. It's maybe a little bit less stingy during the procedure and the foam has some advantage of sitting in the vein a little bit longer. But I find that with that procedure, patients have a tendency for more hyperpigmentation or um, actually deposition of hemosiderin in the skin, which looks brownish. So my preference is still to use the hypertonic saline. Um, and really, it's not a very painful procedure. If you were watching the patient, she and I had a really nice conversation throughout, and it's just, you know, very pleasant. Um, there are some points that get a little stingy, but there's really no pain after the procedure at all. And you just wear some compression stockings for about 48 hours um, to 72 hours afterwards to keep those veins compressed. And we recommend that you don't do any strenuous exercising or heavy lifting right after the procedure for 48 hours or so. But otherwise, you're pretty much good to go. You can walk. Um, you can go about most of your daily routine activities and um, in, winter is a great time to start sclerotherapy. That way you're ready by the springtime. Once the veins are gone, they don't return, but you can certainly um, do maintenance periodically as you develop new veins. So thank you so much for watching. Hope that was helpful and that you enjoyed it.